Looks good, babe. Yeah. I hope so. Hello. Hola. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, La Planning Diva. Thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate your support for my channel. It really does mean a lot to me, so thank you, especially if you're watching my vlog content. So I'm back at it again with another vlog. I'm super, super excited. Today, I am going to be decorating my house for fall, and I'm going to be vlogging the transition. Daisy, stop squeaking your toy. So it's actually middle of the day, Sunday, October the 1st, and it's time to transition my house from regular schmegular house, boring house, into a fall festival and i'm so excited i actually meant to do this on the first day of fall september 22nd but you know how it goes life gets way too busy haven't had a time to breathe until now so we're going to be decorating the house for fall today super excited me and steven and my boyfriend um just came back from bath and body works and i got a couple of goodies so i'm excited to share those as well but yeah if you're interested in seeing how i decorate my house for fall then just keep on watching i think i'm going to start off with a little tour like before showing the areas where i think i'm going to be decorating and then I'm I will decorate everything and then do a little after. I think that'd be cool. So let's go for the tour. Okay, so I'm looking into my living room right now from my front door. My living room is right in front when you walk into the house and then we have the kitchen over here, the dining area over here. We have some like furniture pieces on the walls. And then here is the front entrance to the house. The garage is here on the right hand side and then we just have the little entranceway right here with a little closet and then the rooms to the house are down this hallway. So I'm thinking of decorating this area, I'm thinking of decorating this area right here. I kind of want to clean things up and decorate and then I'm also thinking of organizing this wine hutch with all of our <laughs> crap on it. We have so much stuff on here. I need to organize this. Um, the dining room table, I wanna change like the table settings and the tablecloth. Oh, we got Elysian pumpkin pack beer. So me and Steven are gonna try a flight of this later on. So I wanna update the um, table settings. Let me zoom out. And I thought about moving this air conditioning unit because we don't have central air. Oh, so we have to use this unit for the kitchen and dining room area. I was thinking of putting this away, but I think it's gonna be hot next week for the next two weeks or so. So we're gonna leave that there. And then the kitchen, I don't think I'm gonna do too much in the kitchen, but um, maybe I'll just clean things up. I definitely need to clean the stove top because it is nasty. Check this out. Oh, it's so dirty. I gotta clean that up. Um, stay hydrated. <sighs> Gotta put away dishes, clean some stuff up over here, and uh, yeah, so this is the backyard out here. I might clean up a little bit. I don't know if there's anything in particular that I want to do out here for fall. We'll see. I'll think about it. And then we have the dog bowls over here my fish tank over there. So yeah, the plan is to clean everything up, organize and decorate for fall. I also need to clean this fireplace out. It's been <laughs> weeks since we've cleaned out the fireplace. So we gotta do that. And then let me give you a little tour of the rooms that I might decorate. I think I will definitely decorate in our bedroom. So this is our bedroom here. Um, we have the bed here. I kind of want to hang a painting over here. I still haven't really figured out exactly how I want to set up my bedroom. I like the table and the screen and the fish tank and the plant and then my altar over here. And then we have a dog bed over here. But I have yet to decide how I want to set up the bed and what I want to do with this blank wall over here. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to be doing some fall updates in here. And then I think I also want to decorate the bathroom a little bit. I also need to clean up the bathroom. It's a little bit of a mess right now. Got to clean up the sink and the bathtub. 
but I'm thinking of doing some decorations over here. I have a pumpkin soap I'm going to add to the bathroom sink. Hello! But we'll see what we do in here. And then this is the master bedroom and this is our office. And Steven! Hi Steven! Hey, how are you? I'm good. What are you up to? Oh, I'm just checking emails. Okay, are you ready to help decorate? Yeah. Okay. Yay! But this is the office. And I think I'm going to decorate some in here as well. I'm not sure exactly. I might add some fall, fun fall things to my desk over here. Um, we shall see. But let's get started by pulling out all of the fall decoration. And Steven, I'm going to start pulling out all the fall decorations. Okay. So whenever you're ready, feel free to join me. Will do. Okay. See you, babe. Okay, so let's go pull out the fall decorations. I keep all of my fall decorations in the garage in some storage bins. And I'm really excited because I've picked up some things throughout the year that um, I have not had a chance to put out for fall because I picked them up, you know, in winter or during spring and summer. So all of the fall decorations that we have are in, I think, this or this container. So let me pull these things out and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so here are all my fall decorations. So I'll pull them all out and show them to you and then we can start putting them around the house. So this is something I got um, in, I think in January. It's a scarecrow with pumpkins and it says fall, very cute. Thinking of putting this on the mantelpiece. Daisy. Oh my goodness, look at this! This is a little snow globe I got at the thrift store and it is like a pumpkin themed snow globe. So cute! I think I'm gonna put this in the mantelpiece. I actually also have my um, steampunk girl costume for Halloween in this box as well. I actually need to place an order. This reminds me, I need to buy some steampunk boots because I don't have any for this costume. So I'm just going to leave this to the side. Okay, next we have this. This is super, super cute. This is a candle holder. Oh, thanks. This is a beautiful fall themed candle holder. I think this would look really cool on the table. So let's pull that out. Are there any other boxes? No. This is okay. And then we have this little bouquet here. Super cute fall floral bouquet. So this one would be cool maybe in the bathroom. I have this little pumpkin, um, cloth pumpkin trio. This one would be super cute maybe in the corner of the um, entranceway. Not sure yet where I'm gonna put that. I also have a cute velvet pumpkin. This one would be very cute maybe um, on the cabinet um, next to the dining table. Very cute. I have this pumpkin wreath. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this pumpkin wreath, but I have this. A pumpkin carving kit, which I probably won't pull out until Halloween. Ooh, I have these two corn. Um, I love using these for like a little cornucopia display, so I have these. I have another pumpkin wreath thing. These are super cute little knit pumpkins. It would be fun to hang this up somewhere. So I have this. I have another cloth pumpkin trio. It would be cool to maybe place this next to the other pumpkin trio. That would be fun. I have some cute little um, ceramic pumpkins. Not sure where I'm going to put these, but very cute. I have another gourd here that I like using for decoration. And then I have this um, a metal pumpkin, so this will be fun to put out. And then the rest of the stuff in here um, I think will be for specific holidays. So I have some Dia de los Muertos skulls, but I think I won't put the, those out until later. I also have a little turkey guy, but I think this will come out in November closer to Thanksgiving, along with this turkey guy. I think this guy is going to come out um, closer to Thanksgiving. Maybe November 1st, I'll put him out. So, I'm going to put back the Thanksgiving stuff and also my Halloween costume, and then 
Let's get to decorating. Okay, I think we're going to start off with the table. I want to replace all of the tablecloths and table settings and then make this super cute and fall themed. So let's do it. So we started off by cleaning everything off of the table, wrapping up the tablecloth, grabbing the table settings, and then I dug into my pile of tablecloths that I have and looked for the most festive one or the most fall themed one that I have and we went with this red and orange fall themed uh, tablecloth and then set down some gold table um, settings and then I went to grab the like fall um, a centerpiece that I had in the garage and I set that up and it was perfect for holding three candles so I decided to grab one of my Bath & Body Works candles um, for the table settings and I also placed the um, coasters, the set of wooden coasters I have and some salt and pepper shakers down next to the centerpiece as well and then figured out what else I needed to put on next to the centerpiece and I really like how it turned out. It was super cute. Something that I need to figure out is what I want to do for um, napkins because I use mostly like paper napkins but I kind of want to switch to like cloth napkins and so I was thinking about that but then I just lit the candle on the centerpiece and then called it good and then the next thing we decided to do was clean this piece of furniture that we have near the entryway it's kind of like um, where it's where we put like just <laughs> we dump a lot of things we have some decorative things as well but we end up just just dumping a lot of things onto this uh, dresser piece and it, it's always a mess and so I went in and I went through every single um, drawer and uh, shelf and cleaned everything out and really organized and got rid of a lot of stuff just threw out a bunch of old mail and knickknacks and just things that weren't really serving us anymore I decluttered, I cleaned up, went through all the mail and um, put stuff that we wanted to keep in our little mail wicker carrier thing and uh, cleaned every single drawer and dresser and I used some wood polish to polish it all up and make, make it look nice and then I organized everything that was in the shelves. I have a little dog basket of treats that I like storing in here and then the little bag is where I put a lot of our medicines and medications for the pugs and then I cleaned everything else, rearranged the lamp, rearranged the settings and then played around with some of the fall themed decor that I have. I decided to put the plush pumpkins here and also one of the Bath & Body Works candles. I then grabbed the little fall scarecrow guy and placed that on top of our Calvin & Hobbes collection and I uh, grabbed the basket, put the corn and the gourds in there. I thought it looked so cute. And then I rearranged all our cookbooks into two of the shelves there. Um, those were always all over the place. So I finally figured out how I wanted to rearrange them. I think it looked so cute. And then Steven and I um, hung up the little garlands above the entranceway. Um, and you're gonna see that right now. I'll stop the camera and show um, a close-up of everything. So this is how the entranceway dresser ended up looking at the end of our um, organizing and decorating and then we hung up the pumpkin garland up there. It's super cute knitted pumpkin garland I got at Michael's last year and then Stephen hung up another garland there. So he's hammering in the nails and um, it turned out so cute. And the next thing that we wanted to do was clean the wine hutch, the beverage hutch. We use this as like a decorative space as well as to hold all of our wine glasses and liquor and things like that. And it often becomes just like a mess. Looks good, babe. Yeah, I hope so. So then we started on organizing the wine hutch and I cleaned out all of the drawers. This whole process took us maybe like around four hours to clean both of these furniture pieces and decorate the table. Um, this was long overdue, this organizing and deep cleaning of these drawers. I feel like everyone has like those junk drawers in their house that are full of just random things and knickknacks. Um, and I get frustrated with how much we end up, you know, dumping into drawers, but you know, it happens. And so I deep cleaned all the drawers, organized the hutch, cleaned the surfaces. We also had a bit of a mess underneath the hutch. And so I went ahead and organized that. 
and I think it turned out really, really cute. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I added some fall decor on the hutch, and I think it turned out super, super cute. And here is after we organized everything, um, organized the liquor and the wine glasses. The drawers turned out really nice. We put in all of our like our pharmacy items in there, like cough drops and sunscreen and things like that. And a lot of these drawers just ended up being empty. We put some like beverage knickknacks in the middle one and the shot glasses in the left hand drawer. And then I'm gonna put the cinnamon broom over here next to the entranceway. So cute. Um, just right here underneath the keys. <laughs> Just like that. So whenever we walk in, we get a whiff of cinnamon. Love it. Okay, now in the bedroom and Steven is going to hang up this painting that has been hidden behind this door for way too long. And he's gonna move it over there um, on top of the bed because that space needs something there. And I am going to vacuum and tidy up and also figure out what else I want to do in the bedroom. Although I ran out of fall decorations, so there isn't going to be too much in here. But I just quickly wanted to show you all the candles that I got at Bath & Body Works. They were having a $13 per candle sale. So I got blueberry makewell pancakes, which smells amazing. I also got... Um, pumpkin cinnamon bun. I love the sweet pumpkin scents. And then I got marshmallow fireside as well as pecan praline, which is, where is that? Uh, here is where I put pecan praline. So we got, pe oh, it's praline delight. We got praline delight as well. This one smells so good. Very sweet and nutty. And then Steven also got this at Bath & Body Works. It's a cute little seasonal fox holder for the candles. Super, super cute. So we're gonna have that there. And the last candle that we got was pumpkin spice latte. Mmm, this one smells delicious. So I think I'm going to keep Marshmallow Fireside out and I'm gonna put it in this super cute holder that Steven got. Pumpkins and mushrooms, super, super cute. So I'll put that in there and then I'm gonna put these two away until um, I'm ready for them and I'll put this one away as well. Well, actually I'll leave this one out because I'm currently burning through it. This is toasted pumpkin s'mores, so good. Steven right now is trying to hang up our painting up here. I've been wanting to hang up this painting in a different location for a while now, so finally Steven's kind enough to do it for me. How's it going, Steven? Um, it's okay. I just need to know, like, roughly how high you want it hung and at, at what point, like, oh, centered okay. or over on its edge or... Okay. Okay, so Steven finished hanging the painting there. I moved the screen a little bit, moved our table a little bit. Um, Daisy cleaned some surfaces, um, cleaned the floor, <laughs> cleaned up the toys on the dog bed, and this is what our look, our room looks like now. I think it's super cute. I'm a huge fan of Japanese style sleeping. I wish I had one of those like um, futons that you roll up and store away during the day so that the space can become like a living space instead of a sleeping space. But unfortunately, my mattress, which is a futon mattress, um, is not one of those that rolls up. It's extremely dense and extremely heavy. I invested in this futon um, about two years ago, full of organic uh, coconut material. It's amazing. It's a very hard mattress, and so we have a soft lining on top of it. But I do enjoy sleeping on the ground, sleeping low to the ground. And it's nice for my pugs too, because they can just jump on the bed with us. And look how cute this little patchwork camping quilt is. I got this at Goodwill. I love it so much. I like having a blanket over the bed because it helps protect it. Um, it helps protect the, like the quilts and the sheets underneath it from my pugs. So I really love how um, the room turned out. I still kind of want something up here because I feel like there's emptiness over there. I might hang a basket, like a plant basket right here. I think that would be nice. 
but I love how the room turned out. And then for the bathroom sink, I'm just gonna clean the sink really quick. I kind of want to get a like a fall towel to hang here, and then I'm going to put my pumpkin sweet no pumpkin pecan waffles hand soap that I got at Bath and Body Works um, here on the sink. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, sink is all clean, and I'm definitely gonna change this out for a fall towel, but um, I think home goods is closed so i don't think i can get one right now but check this out uh, pumpkin pecan waffles i had to get this okay so the last thing that i have here my last fall decor is the snow globe super cute halloween scarecrow with jack-o-lantern uh, snow globe i forgot i had this it's so cute i adore snow globes i collect them I actually just got this one at Hobby Lobby um, because I love gingerbread men. They're so cute and I have been putting it here at my desk. But I think I'm going to put this one away and wait for Christmas time um, to put that one out. And I'll replace that one with this amazing jack-o-lantern. How cute is that? And it actually is like motion activated. Oh no, I think the batteries died, um, but it's supposed to like giggle or something. Maybe the batteries are, are dead. I'll have to change that. But how cute is that? Amazing. And that is the fall vlog. We finished decorating. There are still a couple of things that I want to do. I might have to go to Home Goods to get a few things as well. But that is pretty much the fall decor vlog, and I hope you enjoyed. Oh, check out all my plushies up there. Aren't they so cute? I love them so much. I'm thinking of putting some pumpkins like in the entranceway, and I think that's about it. Maybe I'll give another tour once I uh, grab a couple more things from Home Goods and then put the pumpkins in the entranceway. Yeah, I think I'll do that. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this vlog. I am going to go eat dinner with Steven and uh, get into bed. And with that, I hope to see you in the next video. So until then, stay safe. God bless you and happy planning. Adios.